What's going on guys? My name's Nate and this is my 1995 Ford Econoline that I bought as an old school conversion. I've done a whole series um, of building this van out. It's just how to videos for everything that I've added and done. So if you haven't yet, check those out. And this is just gonna be a quick walkthrough to show you um, everything that I've done. I am posting this for sale. So I've been building out campers for coming up on three years. So I did build this with the intent of selling it so it's not loaded up with stuff. But I just wanted to give you a good overview of the van, a nice walkthrough. So right at the front here, we have um, our chest fridge. Look just like that. And everything is running off of the uh, battery in the back. We'll see that in just a second. And it's got a storage box that this is sitting on coming inside. So just a space to kind of throw things. Got some elastic on there to hold everything in. It's pretty bright out, but we do have some reading lights. And these are on uh, like a 360 swivel, you know, point them wherever you need. So it works really nice at night having that indirect lighting. And this is uh, the actual back bench that came with the van. And so I've got just a foam topper on there and then the seat, of course. So there are seat belts under there. You'd have to take the topper off to use it as a bench with the seat belts, um, but wouldn't be difficult at all. I love that since this is an old school camper, it does have these side windows that you can open up. That way it gives you some really good airflow. And I have the uh, fan going right now. This is a Max Air. Just since it's a little bit warm, um, it's nice to just keep it going. I've even driven with it open. It's not a big deal. Handles just fine. And a curtain across the back. And I'll show you the back too in just a second. We've got our curtain up front. Opens up. And I just tuck that behind the arm here. And our kitchenette. Some cupboards here. I've utilized more of that elastic so you can put things in here and not worry about them falling out when you open the doors. And on this side, we have our water tanks. It's a simple sink setup. Small little pump there. And just one fresh water and one gray tank held in by elastic and those are pretty snug. There is a little bit of movement, but nothing that you would ever need to be concerned about. And close that up. And get a view of the front. This fan was very well taken care of. So it is super clean. The seats are in great shape. I won't do a full mechanical overview in this video, uh, but mechanically it's uh, in really great condition low miles and lots of open space in the back here I put some hooks in here so that these uh, totes could be held in place used for storage look underneath it's just very open and this is uh, it's kind of a lot of fabric but when that seat lifts up when you have it in um, I guess the bench setting for using it as actual seats with the seat belts. That cloth kind of covers the back, so if you do have things under it, um, it makes it look really nice. So that's why there's all that excess fabric. And 100 amp hour battery. Got our solar panel cutoff switch and our charge controller. And all the lights, the fan, are wired back here. And then I have these extra cigarette outlets so this can be used with a usb adapter to charge your phones whatever you need and then this one is actually uh i don't know if i can pull that all the way out but i have that running just under the bed and the uh fridge is plugged into it so like i said it's pretty clean pretty simple and on the top 200 amp hours of solar and our max fan. 
there are some lights set in here as well that uh, only run when the van is turned on. So I can't turn them on right now. But it does have uh, rear AC and heat. And that's just about everything. Coming to the front. I do have some things up here. But these seats are awesome. They're super comfortable. They're in great shape. Like I said, the dash, everything is very clean. So if you're watching this and I just posted it and you're looking for a camper van, uh, this one is up for sale. So hopefully it uh, finds a good home. And uh, if you have any questions, like I said, if you haven't watched the build series yet, um, go back and watch those videos. Let me know if you have any questions or any thoughts about the build. It is pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but I hope to uh, find a good buyer who will enjoy it and take it on lots of adventures.